day. Hi, good morning. Today we're taking you to different part of Bangkok. We're going to Talapflu area. Um, this is the area of Bangkok which is a little bit more local than what we used to. So it's going to be interesting to explore. We're going to be eating all day guys. So this is going to be another food video in the local area of Bangkok. Oh, it's so cute, so pretty. So this is ice cream with egg yolk inside it. Let's try it. Wow. Great so man. guys, this shop is 70 years old as we just been told. If you're new here, we are Danny and Diggy, an English-Polish couple from the UK. We have quit our jobs to follow our dream of exploring Thailand for the next year. If you love good food, views, beaches, and want to see more of this beautiful country, Join, Join us on, on our journey. journey. This area here, you can get it quite easy. You can get here from Siam. It's only about a 20 minute ride and it costs you about, I think about 62 baht each to get here. But there's apparently meant to be a market here. We don't know if we're here the right day yet. We should go and find out. And yeah, let's go and explore and get some food because I'm pretty hungry right now. <laughs> let's go. Usual Danny and Diggy style, we're left with no breakfast, so we are pretty hungry. But we did that on purpose because we knew we're going to be eating for a whole day around here. I'm not sure how much is going to be open today because it's a Queen's birthday, so everywhere on the Google it says hours may differ. We probably should have come here on a different day because it's a big local market underneath the bridge around here but doesn't matter we can make another video for you guys another day so let's see what's open at the moment and let's see what's open at the moment and let's just explore area of Talat 2 yeah let's go and have a wander around this market is actually about 100 years old this one here apparently so yeah it does look quite old from what we can see so let's go down and have a look to see what it has to offer, what food we can find in here, maybe something we haven't tried before, yeah? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, let's go and have a look around. Oh, wow. Oh, it's okay. Got a bit of cake? <laughs> oh, wow. Check this out. We just stumped across some Thai desserts, which we're going to try in a minute, but everything looks colourful and it looks delicious as well. I think I'm gonna pick one and you're gonna pick one, yeah? Yeah, I can see one cake I like and I'll show you guys. I'm ordering it. They're saying that my Thai is actually quite good. Yes, what she's showing you then is, it's like egg floss, or they call it like egg yolk, and it's sweetened with sugar. We'll try that another time, but we've got our desserts. Let's try them. Check this out. Mine is actually wrapped in a, in a leaf. Ooh. Oh, it's so cute, so pretty. Look at that. I think I know how to eat this one. Yeah. Yeah. So this looks like it's just like pandan custard. I can't wait to try. Ah, uh, my own uh, <laughs> Check this out. Down in what? It's good? Oh yeah. What is it? Aroi mak mak? Ah! It's like custard with salty and pandan flavor and coconut as well in there. So you have pandan, salt, coconut. It's so good. And sesame as well. Mmm, aroi mak. That's so good. She Very did, good. She did offer Diggy a spoon, but she said, nah, just nah. take it in one. <laughs> <laughs> so I've gone for these. And what they are, it's basically like a toasted coconut uh, dessert. More like a cake, not like the more creamy desserts. 
But I love these things, it's so good. Let's break that off. Oh, squidgy. See how much coconut's in there? Ah, oh, so nice. You can smell the toasted coconut. Oh. It's slightly glutinous. The toasty coconut. Oh, it's so good. You've got to try this. It's not too heavy. I like Mac Mac. Mm. Wanna try? Yeah, go on right up. <laughs> mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Nice and sticky, sweet and coconut. Lovely. Yeah. I'll finish this all off. I don't know how easy it's going to be to put the link in the description. We will try. But um, we don't know the name of this place in English, so we will try to find it on the map and put a link in the description. But if we can't find it, sorry about that. You will have to come and find out yourself. It's just on the corner from the market. Right, that was our first little snack. I think we need to find some more food, something yeah. decent, something bigger. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> Walking around, I what I realized that there's a lot of canals around here. There's not many high-rise buildings. There's a lot of nice old wooden houses around us, and yeah, it's really nice. Actually, I quite like Talaplu. Yeah, I like it. Like Ziggy said, not so many high-rises. You've got outside of the main Bangkok. It's cool. And like Ziggy said, some lovely houses by the clocks. The yeah. old wooden-style wooden houses. Mm -hmm. They look really cool. Yeah, there is a few condos, like a big condos around, but you do not get so many high-rise buildings like you get in the center of Bangkok which I quite like it's nice to see that for a change I think it might rain today so hopefully we're not gonna get caught in a big rain fingers crossed Guys, yeah, so I hope you can hear us because this is the main road and it's quite busy here so you won't be able to walk around everywhere so watch where you're walking let's go so yeah, we're walking around Talat Plu intersection now. It's super hot today, guys. Oh yeah, the area looks really nice, very local. Gonna grab something to eat. What is really cool around here, you can walk along the train tracks and there's a small train station here, but you can literally sit around the train track in a cafe and get some food. Or just do a little bit of shopping. Today, but there's so much food around here. I'm gonna have to eat something in a minute. There's a nice pork stall down there, but there's so much food you can choose here. So just come, have a look around, pick something out. Let's have a look. So cool. <laughs> on a nice hot day. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, let's get a nice hot soup. <laughs> Let it out. Tom yum, tom yum, tom yum, tom yum. Ah, okay, hap. Right, I think we've ordered. I've gone for, it looks like a tom yum soup, similar to. And yeah, I'll show you what we've got in a minute. And Diggy, you went for? I went for something which looks like soup with egg noodles, crab, crispy pork as well. So all my favorite things in there. And I think we're gonna order steamed band with some salted egg and pork in there as well. So it looks like this place has been open for quite a long time, I think. It's very busy, so I don't want to disturb them in the kitchen, but the kitchen looks really, really local. You have a massive, massive pot with three different types of broth cooking in there, which is really interesting. You have one massive pot divided by three. You see a lot of condiments, the stuff which makes the soup as well, just in a hot Thai kitchen. It was so hot over there. It's so hot today as well, but let's see let's show you what actually we've got ordered guys yeah so i've gone for this soup i think it's kind of like a tom yum yeah. broth and this one cost 50 baht and take a look inside i'll show you what we got so yeah in here we have fish cake we have red pork 
we have fish balls and we also have crispy pork and I'm excited for the crispy pork because I was going to order a whole plate but I saw it came with the soup so I don't need to so first thing let's try this broth let's just try this broth always try it with nothing first and then change it afterwards oh doesn't need any more spice <laughs> That's spicy enough for me. Normally add more chili. There's enough in there. But that's lovely. Not too salty. Spicy. Beautiful. I want to try this crispy pork though. Mm -hmm. So good. You know decent crispy pork, when it's been sat in the broth and it's still crunchy, now it's been sat in the broth for a while. Good crispy pork. Lovely broth. Lovely soup. Good. It looks like we just made in time inside because it's raining so bad now but it's perfect time to have some lovely hot soup then the, what i've got here i've got some pork and crab egg noodle soup which looks amazing the broth is nice and clear let's give it a try oh yeah Oh, that broth is so good guys it tastes like it has really strong taste of garlic in there scallions as well oh something else oh the salty flavor as well is quite salty to be honest but it's not sweet it's not sweet at all which i absolutely love and it's just that yeah the main flavor in that broth is garlic it's amazing right let's try some of the crab I love crab guys and the chunks of the soup is oh. um, mm. oh that's so good nice bouncy noodles as well oh yeah this is a top noodle soup dish guys you have to come here we will try to find it on a google We'll try to put the link down below, but it's a bit difficult for us if we don't reach Thai because we don't know actually what the place is it's called, but we'll do our best. So try the link in the description, it might be there. And pepper. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Do you like pepper? So much pepper in there now. Jesus. Right now let's try the peppery broth. It's good. It's a lot of pepper in there, but it still has a really good taste though. It actually wasn't a bad idea to put so much pepper in it. What I really like are these nice tiny fish balls, I think. They're so bouncy. Like, I think it's like bouncy is deng deng. Deng deng? Is it? Yeah, deng. Deng, deng is bouncy. Deng deng. deng, deng. Yeah, they're lovely. <laughs> really good I love the fish balls guys and I also have some pieces of pork here too mm. oh wow that pork I didn't expect that the pork is so soft this is a really good find I love this place we will have to find out what it's called and we will put the link in the description for you guys because this is amazing mine dish was 100 baht but it's a little bit more expensive because it has a crab in it and a good amount of crab as well so oh yeah that's good Thank you very much, Captain Ka. They have a big menu in here. You can get the crispy noodles with crab. You can get the crab and wonton noodle soup. You can get pink broth soup. You can get Tom Yum, like Danny said. It, it's so much choice around here, and guys, everything is delicious. So, I just found out what this place is called in English. It's called Hong Lang Noodle in Tala Flu. So make sure you will come and visit this place because the ingredients they put in a soup, they are so good, a really good quality crab meat, the fish balls and noodles as well. Everything is really good. The broth is amazing. I really like the garlicky and salty broth guys. That's really good. Another dish we got here, we ordered some steamed bun. 
which is filled with some minced pork and salted egg. Ooh! Check this out! Salted egg in there and pork. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Pork is a little bit sweet, but the salty egg with it, it works really well. I love this. Yeah. Mm. And that was only 20 baht. Can't go wrong. When I Google translated for those actual buns, it said 20 baht for one child. So don't always trust Google Translate. <laughs> So this was some tasty noodles guys, make sure you check out this uh, noodle shop if you're in Talatlu and Tonburi area. Now we are off to find more food, maybe a dessert. Well, hopefully this rain stopped, it's still spitting a little bit, yeah. but rainy season has arrived. Let's go. Let's go. Should we take one egg ice cream? Mm -hmm. Right, we just came for some dessert. There it is. There is the Thai name as well if you want to read it or save it. All the menu is in Thai or I think Chinese, so we need some translation, but Google will always help us. Oh, yeah. It's actually cooled down a bit now, but I'm still good for ice cream. So, this is ice cream with egg yolk inside it. Let's try it. Oh, that's good. The egg yolk makes it so much more creamier. And I think it's coconut ice cream there as well. Oh yeah, that's so good. It's much needed now. Mm. And if you look to this side of me, if Piggy pans over the second, you see all these, you can actually have these as toppings as well. If you want extra toppings, you can stick it on top. A lot of it's like uh, candied fruits. So yeah, if you fancy any of it, just point out what you want and then put it on top. But I need to try some ice cream. It's my favorite dessert of all. I love ice cream. Wow. And we had egg ice cream, egg yolk ice cream before in Songkla Old Town. So check that video as well. I'm gonna put the link in the description. But this is a little bit different. Actually, egg yolk is mixed in with ice cream and it's freezed with ice cream as well. So this is gonna be a little bit different. Oh yeah. I love it. I absolutely love ice cream with egg yolk, guys. For Western people, this might be a little bit weird having an ice cream with egg yolk, but it's so good. Danny, you're not gonna get, you're not gonna have any, sorry. I'm gonna eat it all. Let's try some coconut ice cream. Those are the little cute bowls. <laughs> That sounded a bit wrong, sorry. All right, coconut ice cream, here we go. Mm. Nice and smooth. They taste much lighter and less creamy than the egg yolk ice cream. But it's so good. 35 bar, 25 bar. Not bad. So just to show you where we are, we're sitting right opposite the bridge. As you can see behind us, this meant to be the start of the market. This meant to be where the food, where the food is, and most of the stuff in here is closed today. So I think we're gonna come back another day. But today we might also stop on the way home in Bangrak area and grab the food there. It's not far from Talatlu. Just few stops on a Silom line, uh, BTS, BTS Silom line. So I think we're just gonna go there, and maybe grab something to eat there. Yeah. Yeah. We can go and have a look. Yeah, because we don't wanna walk around too much in here because, guys, it's shut. Most of the stuff is shut today, so we're just gonna come back here another day. We wanna take you back when it's all open. You can see everything yeah. open. It's all lit up. It's busy today. It's very quiet. Very quiet. <laughs> so as you can see not always things go to plan so we're still going to show you today some lovely food around bangkok in the less touristy areas let's go i do quite like tonburi area um 
You don't feel like you're in Bangkok. If you compare Thonburi to central of Bangkok, it feels completely different. I love it. It feels more local and quieter as well. I have a quick question for you guys. Basically, when the Thai people come to you and they say, hello, do you answer in English or Thai? I do both. <laughs> I go, sorry, cap. Hello. <laughs> I don't know, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure. But yeah, everyone is so friendly here. They say hello. They are uh, all the like a guards on the street to the counters, something like that. They always like smiley, say hello, hi, sorry, ka. It's so nice, honestly. Yeah, it's got that not busy feeling, a nice yeah. relaxed atmosphere around here. It's really nice. Yeah, you feel like you're in much smaller town or much, much smaller city than Bangkok. Right, the reason why we came to Talat Plu is because we saw roaming cook Gary Butler videos around Talat Plu and then we saw Joe Perilla as well which basically for oh i want to go there and i want to eat all that food so that's why we came to talat Plu. but as we said we're gonna come back here different day to show you more stuff open because it's most of the stuff is closed today sorry about that To the BTS when it's so hot outside, it feels like you're walking into the freezer. Yeah, like I'm in the fridge now. Yeah. But it's nice to have a nice empty BTS for a change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sun's back out again. So we just got off the BTS at Sabin Taskin, and this is basically when you get off here, you're in the Bangrak area. So we're gonna go for a wonder, see what's around, explore a little bit, and maybe get some more food. Let's go. This is actually the one from the Hangover movie, you can see there. Woo! Check it out. Yeah, so around this area there's loads of food. We're just going to walk around. Yeah, this is the Bang Rak area. And you're actually quite close to the actual Chow Phraya River from here. So let's go for a wander and see what we can see. Very busy. Lots of little street snacks. Let's go and have a wander. We're just outside here, outside Prachak Dak in Bangrak. We came here before with our friend Dan Bangkok. So check out the video. Uh, check out that video as well. I'm gonna leave the link below. That was amazing food, guys. So it's worth checking it out. around here are amazing honestly it just smells of food on every single corner and just walking past look another street food card if you want to like a, if you want your self-designed street food tour come to Bangrak because you can just walk on the street and literally you're gonna have a food after food after food Cold drink is needed, Danny. Kiwi soda is so good, guys. Oh, it's much needed. The streets are super quiet, even around here today. So we definitely chose the wrong day for this video, guys. We're trying to save this video now. We're trying to find something else yeah. to eat. But places we really like aren't open and a lot of it's sharp. I know. So we just need to find something to show you guys, something else in this area save this video and then we'll head home <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is actually good wording for it yeah we need to save this video somehow so we finally found the place guys we are in Jock Prince uh, and I'm so excited to try it. I wanted actually to have a jock, which is like a kind of porridge style soup, 
I really wanted to have this for breakfast and this is a really popular breakfast in Thailand as well. So Jock Prince is more of the Cantonese style porridge and this is owner of the shop I think and he just told us that this used to be a theater and also this is still original recipe from his grandpa. And they have a Michelin star as well. So yeah, it should be good. I'm really excited. I really wanted to try porridge today. I did say I wanted porridge for breakfast today. Yeah, but there was a century egg you can have, but we are not yeah. quite that brave yet. Maybe next time. <laughs> yes, I, I really want to try century egg, but I am a bit scared, so maybe I have to build up, build up to it, I think. Yeah. One porridge. day I will, I promise you guys, one day I will try century egg. Ready for this? <laughs> I'm not too sure about the consistency. Have a look. All right, let's try some so of this coffee. I really in. wanted to have this for breakfast, guys. So yeah, I'm really happy about that. I'm just gonna mix it in and then we we'll try it. Basically, what we've got here, we have some ginger greens, which I think is coriander. We have a poached egg and the massive, massive meatballs. I can't wait to try this. Let's give it a mix. Oh, this is really good. Meatballs are amazing. Meatballs are really good. But we actually went for meatballs, offal and egg. So I've got a bit of, I think, liver here as well. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Good. Mm. This is really, really good quality, guys. So if you want to try chop or congee, but you're a little bit apprehensive about maybe the egg or offal in it, come here because this is amazing. Mm. But I think it needs a little bit of um, soy sauce pepper? and pepper. Yeah. yeah. Right, so I'm gonna have a go with nothing. I just want to try the actual porridge by itself first. Let's it's try the quite porridge big by itself. It's consistency. Yeah. Mm. But it's nice. What do you think? It reminds me of <laughs> Radna. Oh my god. <laughs> the consistency is strange, but the flavor is good. Mm. Again, the same with Radna. I really like it. The, it's the consistency thing that normally gets me. And it's a bit gloopy, but the flavor is really nice actually. I'm really surprised. Yeah. You think of rice pudding back in England, but not sweet. Savory rice pudding. Mm. No, the flavor try, is really good. Try some offers. Go and do it. Just bite it. It's so good. Oh, yeah. It's nice. The apple's actually really good. I'm gonna season this. I'm gonna put some white pepper, soy sauce, and some chilies. Right, so I seasoned this well. Might be a little bit too hot for Danny because I overdone chili a little bit, but I think he will. Right, yeah. Then, going in again. Now, the flavor completely changed. It's nice and salty, spicy, you can taste the baked pepper. The ginger as well comes out. Mm. That is good. The owner just said to me just now, that's the reason they're so close to the hospital. So apparently, everyone who's in the hospital orders this congee and they take it to the hospital. So it's like a perfect comfort food. If you're feeling ill, not too well, they eat congee. So there you go. Another maybe useless fact for you guys. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we just asked because we weren't sure, but this is just 50 bar, guys. You can't go wrong. The quality of the ingredients they put in here, they, it's absolutely amazing. It's, it's definitely worth the money. Uh, my mom said about 70 years. 70 years? Yeah. Wow! Yeah, this is, uh, like my sister is running this, so it's uh -huh. up, this is our third generation. Oh wow! Right, so yeah. guys, this shop is 70 years old, as we just been told, and this is family-run business, and this is third generation. Amazing! And I can see you've got guys Michelin star as of 2018 all the way to 2023. Well done! Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations! Yeah. Wow. So yeah, guys, this was our last meal of the day. We're not gonna carry on because there's so many places closed today. We did not expect that at all. 
so what we're gonna say now is thank you for watching guys thank you to, uh, for staying all the way to the end uh, sorry we couldn't show you more but sometimes you know the things don't work out the way we planned never mind we're gonna come back to Talaplu and make a, another video over there so that's not a problem and yeah don't forget to subscribe if you like this video because that will help us a lot give us a like as well and see you in the next one <laughs> bye, bye.